Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kim and today we're starting another weekly reading vlog and it's Christmas Day. <sighs> it's finally here. It doesn't feel like Christmas Day, but it is. Bit of a reading update for you. Yesterday I read about 250 pages of Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood. I managed to get quite a bit done at work before we let the customers in. So I've got about 250 pages to go with that one as well. So I probably won't get it done today because obviously it's Christmas day and I'm with family today. We're going out. We are taking the grandparents out for Christmas dinner at a pub. And then depending on how that goes, we'll either come back home. So I might get some reading done. Or I might just chill and watch some movies. Or we will go back to my grandparents. Probably my nan has a kitchen full of nibbles. She always overbuys at Christmas. So potential that we could be eating a load of nibbles as well. So I won't get, I don't think I'll get much reading done today. But it's Boxing Day tomorrow. I'm off work. So there's potential that I could get it finished tomorrow. Either way, I've got to get today started. I'm just waiting for my turn in the bathroom so I can wash this mop <laughs> and have a shower. And then we will do the unwrapping of the presents and then off to the pub with the grandparents. <laughs> good morning folks it is boxing day and yesterday was really good yesterday was really good yesterday we got up had breakfast got dressed did the presents went out for lunch and then nothing came home and I slept for like three hours and then woke up from last singer and fell asleep again so I didn't get any reading done whatsoever today we are we started early we've cooked all the meats are in the oven we're cooking those we'll cook up some bubble and squeak later and we might go out for a walk that's about it. I'm having a really chill day, so there's going to be a few movies. And I might get some reading done, so I might be able to get House of Earth and Blood finished today. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sorry. Today I might try and do some catching up with some templates. So there might be a template dump later on. But apart from that, I'm not really going to do much. So, yeah, I've now got to go and do laundry, so catch you soon.
lost track. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. Wednesday 27th today. And yesterday I finished Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood. And I really wish that I could rate it higher. I rated it a five last time I read it. And this time it was just so much better because I picked up so much stuff that I just, I didn't pick up the first time around. So I wish I could rate it higher, but it's of course a five star. Of course it's a five star. But that means that we get to spin again. Finally. Let's go spin. Oh no, we can't unwrap a book. Oh god. This could be anything. Oh god. Okay. Let's put numbers 1 through 20 on a wheel and see which one I'm unwrapping. Pick out number 6 and see what it is. I'm scared. Got all my wrapped up numbered books. Let's see if we can find number six. Not in any kind of order, I just shoved them on the shelves here. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's a little one. Definitely a little one. Okay, should we find out what it is? All right, way's over. Let's do this. Let's find out what book number six is. Today's plans, uh, not a lot really. We've got to go do some grocery shopping for my grandparents, and apart from that, not really much to do, which is great. I have quite a bit of booktube to catch up on, so I, th I think I'll do that today. Maybe plan some end of year content. But apart from that, I haven't got anything to do. So it might just be another day of sitting and watching movies. folks it's friday evening and i haven't updated you for a few days so i thought i'd pop in and give you an update uh i'm about 70 pages into bath tangle and it's okay it's not mind-blowing it's just it's okay so at the moment it's going to get a three we'll see how it goes i'm kind of slumpy at the moment i think House of Earth and Blood might have put me in a bit of a slump, uh, which isn't good considering what I've got to read next month. But yeah, that's about it. 70 pages into Bath Tangle. Last two days I've been at work. It's been slog and my back isn't 100%, so it's, it's, it's been hard. As I said, it's Friday evening. I've got the house to myself, so I'm just, I'm glad. I'm just chilling and watching movies today. So I'm watching some old school movies. I've watched Twister already, which I absolutely love, and it's one of my old favourites. And now I'm watching Father of the Bride, which is another one of my old favourites. Why not? I'm here on my own. Let's just chill out. And what am I going to do tomorrow? Uh, don't know whether to take the Christmas stuff down tomorrow. I might do it on Sunday. 
I do have some shopping to do tomorrow and then it's the grandparents on Sunday. I don't know where I'm going to be how to update so this might be the last update but hopefully I can get bath tank all finished this weekend so that I can start off next month with a bang because I have a lot of reading planned next month and a slump is not what I need but that's my little update for now it is almost 10 at night I'm exhausted I've been up since 5am so I'm exhausted I'm gonna finish watching this movie and probably fall asleep Hi folks, today is the 31st of December, it is the last day of the year, and I have a bit of a reading update for you. So yesterday I managed to finish Bath Tangle, Bath Tangle? Bath Tangle, by Georgette Heyer, and mm, I think it's going to be a three star. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, and the humour was pretty good, I kind of like the characters, so I think it's going to be a three star. Uh, then I looked at my A to Z. I was two letters away from completing the A to Z, which were Z and U. So I decided to pick up a couple of graphic novels yesterday, just to finish out the year properly. And so I, the first one that I picked up was, it didn't have to start with a Z, it just needed to contain a Z. So for that reason, I picked up Berserker which is by Keanu Reeves. It's a comic book written by Keanu Reeves. How did I not know that Keanu Reeves had written a, a comic book? I had no idea. And I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. It was a bit on the gory side, but it was a good starting to a series. I really enjoyed the characters. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to continue on with that series. Then I needed to pick up one that contained or began with a U. That was a little bit harder to find, but I did find one. It was called Unearth by Cullen Bunn. And again, I really enjoyed it. Definitely weird. But again, I liked the way the story is going. And I like that we they're left sort of on a cliffhanger and you don't know what's going to happen next. So again, four star. Cannot wait to pick up the next in the series. But that, I think, is my year done. I don't think I'm, I'm definitely not going to get anything else finished this year. So yeah, that's my year done. So I might as well end this one here and start a new one tomorrow. So happy new year, everybody. Thank you to everybody who has followed, who has supported me throughout the year. I am more than grateful. I am just flabbergasted by the fact that 300, over 300 people now subscribe to my channel. I'm just dumbfounded. I really am. So thank you to everybody. Seriously, oh my God, don't get me started. No, I'm not going to go there. Thank you to everybody who has followed me throughout the year. And yeah, it's onward and upward for the next year. On to 2024. Wow. Oh, okay. Before I start bawling out my eyes, as always, it's down in my description box. You can find a link to all of my socials. Come give me a follow on Goodreads on Instagram and on X. You can like this video, you can comment, and you can subscribe if you really want to see where 2024 is going to take me. Or let me know you're here without actually talking to me. Leave the firework emoji because there are going to be fireworks going off up and down the country, all over the world today. Yeah, I'll see you next year. Doodles.